Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice looking flyer design effect. So let's start. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start from here. So as you can see, I have a couple of colors here which I'm gonna use later. I'm gonna place them as a link in the description. You can download it and have these colors if you like them. So I'm gonna start with a rectangle tool from here. I'm gonna click once and once anywhere. And make sure you have 635 width and 952 height as the dimension of the flyer. Then go to align and place it right in the middle horizontally and vertically so now it's exactly in the middle of the document so make sure you put the stroke on black so you can actually see it and press ctrl 2 to lock it and now it's locked you can't control it anymore let's go to the rectangle tool again and click anywhere here inside the square and put it at 495 height and press ok and you will have this rectangle place it here and then go to the rectangle tool again and hold on it till you get the ellipse tool and click anywhere and put the width on 400 and the height on 375 press ok and make sure the middle of the circle is on top of this side of the square or the rectangle and this is perfect so now let's go to the rectangle tool again hold on it till you get the rectangle tool and click once and make sure the width is 95 and the height is 95 so it's a square and let's color the square from the inside maybe blue or whatever so just let's put it here make sure it's exactly on top of this side you can zoom in to check if it's exactly on top okay they're exactly on top and now you can click on it and hold alt to see the two cursors and just drag holding shift to make it parallel and put it exactly on top of the line of the first one and the color change it maybe to brown it's just random colors which I'm gonna remove later so now you have this nice shape so you can now select all of it and go to the shape builder tool and hold out to get the minus sign and click here to remove this one and remove this one and remove this one make sure you remove it properly okay so we will end up with this shape here so let's place it on the left and now let's group it Control G or right click and group okay so now it's all connected so you can just copy it Control C and then Control shift V to paste in place so now you have two on top of each other so just rotate it holding shift and place the green square on top of the brown square of the first one so right here okay so make sure it's exactly on top let's zoom in and it's exactly on top that's correct and now select this one the newly created one and Control C Control shift V to paste in place so now you have two of them and rotate it and place this color on top of the brown that's correct and now the last one, Control C, Control Shift V to paste in place. And now just rotate it again and place the green on the brown. Make sure it's exactly on top. That's correct. After we're done, you can select everything and just put none for the fill so you can see the lines. And you'll have this nice looking shape so select everything again and get the shape builder tool and hold alt to get the minus sign and remove this and this and this and then connect those and this one needs connecting 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 okay so you're gonna have this nice looking shape but there's a problem there's lots of lines on top of each other like lots of lines on top of each other overlapping so you can select everything and go to window pathfinder and go to outline here click once and you'll have only one line okay and now you can go and click on divide click divide and let's put a stroke a black stroke 
and now you can see you have each a shape they're all separated into shapes okay so this is the first step you will have this all with their own shapes and now you can press ctrl c and ctrl shift v okay so you will have two of them so the second one you have to press on combine or unite and it will be like this okay so let's lock this one because we will not use it now press ctrl 2 and let's go back to the first one which is this one and ctrl c and ctrl shift v again and you'll have the third one here so with the third one we need to go to the stroke and put it on white and let's increase the stroke to five okay and let's lock it okay so now we're left with this one here this one here we need to put the colors in so let's zoom out and let's choose this one here and color it with red and this one and in the middle put it at white okay and without a stroke we don't need a stroke okay and you will have this so this one let's put it at opacity 50 and all the other ones the big ones at opacity 50 and the small colored ones shift select all of them and put it at 30 the middle one the white one also put it at okay and now after you're done with it double click here and you will exit the isolation mode and you will have this nice looking effect so let's unlock everything Control alt 2 and let's select let's lock the white one we don't need to control it anymore and let's select this one now okay and right click on it arrange bring to front because we're gonna use it now and now we need to get the picture so let's get the picture and place it directly here okay maybe enlarge it slightly okay and lock it and then select this one right click arrange bring to front and then unlock everything and select the picture shift and then select this one so now you'll select it both of them with shift right click make clipping mask and then right click arrange send to back and you will have the middle section here complete so now make sure you select this one here and control 2 to lock it again and then select the middle ones you can actually just control G to group them it will be easier and place them somewhere here in the middle or you can go to window align and just align them right in the middle and enlarge it slightly till it hits the sides okay that's perfect okay and now get the rectangle tool and click here and make a rectangle on this side and with the eyedropper let's color it with this color and right click arrange send to back and hold up to get the two cursors and just drag and shift and place one here and now I think we need to color the background. So press Ctrl Alt 2 to unlock everything, select the background, and let's give it like a slight gray. Okay. And let's send it to back. And now let's create some more rectangles. But the black outline is dissolved, so you can select the background here. Control C, Control Shift V, and remove the fill, and you will have only the outline. Maybe you can just select the gray here, make it a little bit less gray. I think this is better. Okay, and now I need to add a couple of things. So I have here a gradient. I want to place it behind the white, so I chose the color, the same color for both ends. So I chose this one here. And the first one I put 100 opacity and the second one is on zero opacity. And with the gradient tool, you can just manipulate the angle, you know. So I chose this already. I'm going to place this behind the white so it will have some shadows. And I'm going to copy it and rotate it and place it behind the second white. And you'll have this nice effect. 
And now I need to add the writings. I have here a couple of writings. As you can see, the first one, I chose the characters, source sans variable. And for the numbers, I chose Myriad Pro. And as you can see, I colored this section gray, which is I use 898989. And this one white and this one green with this color that I used for the background. So I'm going to place the LAU live talk here. As you can see, it will have a nice contrast with the white mixing with the green and the grays. And the number, I'm going to place them here. And these, I'm going to place them down. It will have a nice contrast. I think this is good. We're finished with the first page. We can just move it here and copy it. And now let's delete the writing because the second page won't have the same writings. So I'm just going to switch the colors. So I'm going to choose the greens and I'm going to color them with white. And the white, I'm going to color them with the greens. And the shadows, I'm just going to rotate them this way and place them next to the whites and copy them here and rotate them and place them behind the whites again. And now if we have like more writing, you can put more writing. I have here a couple of icons. I'm just going to place them here. It depends on what you have and what you want to write. So that's about it. We finished the two pages. And after you're done, you can just delete the black stroke behind them and save the files. And I have here a template of flyers, which I'm going to put a link in the description. You can download it anytime. And I already saved the files here. So I'm just going to drag them on top of the shadows. They are the exact same size, so you don't have to worry about it. So that's the final product and we're done. Thank you so much.